Hi, Indonesia. This is Bibi Rexa. Check out my interview with creativedisc.com, the number one music website in Indonesia. Hello, city lovers. Welcome back to Creative This Exclusive Interview. Junde Yuwono is here as your host. And here with me now is a singer that I really want to meet up for a very long time now. She's here, by the way. I'm so excited. I'm so nervous at the same time. It's BB Rexa. Hello, BB Rexa. How are you? Hi. Hi, Dundee. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing this quarantine time? Oh my God, I'm good. I'm much better now speaking with you. I love your energy. I'm totally excited for this because I've been waiting for a long time. I'm such a big fan now. And congratulations, by the way, um, to uh, your single, Sacrifice. It's so great. I'm uh, um, just uh, jamming out uh, this uh, waiting for the interview uh, previously. It's so great. The music video, it's so awesome also. So speak, speaking, speaking about sacrifice, I mean, is there any, any interesting, weird, funny moment that happened when you wrote this song, though? Um, I have a funny moment from the video shoot. Okay. What is that? Um, you know, the video shoot, we did a video and the video is a vampire scene, like from yeah. Blade. We're all vampires. And right. there was this fake blood and it was like, you know, colored in food dye and... um. Um, <laughs> my hair because my hair is blonde turned pink right <laughs> because of red blood my hands were pink for a week straight what so I was walking around with like red hands what pink hair like my body had all yeah because it you know because we were doing we were shooting the video uh-huh. and my and we were just covered in it and in, in the blood and I was literally pink and red for a week straight so that was really interesting well, okay okay but uh, it turns out so good the video is so great it by was the worth way. it it was yeah, worth it. it it's totally worth it so Vivi, speaking about sacrifice though looking back until now uh, what is the thing that you had to sacrifice but you feel so grateful now for making that decision or that sacrifice um i will say that i had to sacrifice a lot of friendships Mm-hmm. I had to sacrifice seeing my parents as much as I would like to, yep. um, you know, because I can't see them. I'm always traveling. I live in California. They live in New York and mm-hmm. I, was, you know, on tour and then the pandemic hit and then I'm yep. traveling the country and it's hard not seeing my family. I'm very close to them um, and they are my rock. They're the ones that keep me going. They're the ones who keep me grounded and they make mm-hmm. me happy. They're, you know, they're part of me. And um, it's really hard not being around them, but I have to remind myself that I am doing this to, you know, live a better life so that I can also give them a better life. So that's what keeps me going. Wow. That's a great, great thing that you did. I mean, um, it's never easy to uh, separate with with the family, right? Especially nowadays during this pandemic. my, my parent, my, you know, my father came from Albania as an immigrant and mm. he um, didn't know anything about how to get into the music business. None of that. Like he didn't know anything. And um, right. he really gave me, you know, so much of his time and his love. So mm-hmm. um, I owe them a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. 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 So uh, next, speaking of uh, pandemic, this pandemic situation, what is the first thing, though, that you'd like to do when it's finally safe to go back to normal days? I want to go to the club, the club. Let's, let's hit the club. Yeah, I want to go to the club and I want to hear sacrifice and at the club and I just want to dance. Yes, yes, let's get it. So, Bibi, what is the plan for Bibi Rexa in 2021? I know that uh, you already released Sacrifice, right? But what is yeah, the plan during album. this year? My album is coming. Yes, yes, I can't wait. That's the thing that I want to hear. Oh my God. Yeah, my album is coming. I'm very excited. Yes. I think my fans are going to love it. There's so many incredible visuals, like a mm. lot of visuals. Like I'm I'm serving visuals, serving looks um, and, um, you know, creating a world. And I'm so excited for that. Cool. I can't wait. So finally, is there any message to your Indonesian fan who happens to watch this interview or listening to the podcast? 
Oh my gosh. I want to say, I love my Indonesian fans. You guys are so awesome. I see the tweets. I see all the comments. Hello. I see you guys. I hear you. As soon as this pandemic is over, I God willingly can tr travel and, um, you know, tour and go to Indonesia and hug you guys and and party with you guys and perform for you guys. I love you guys so much.